subject of formula, one of the most important topics that we have in our syllabus, uh, that is the change of subject of formula. So we're going to consider a question that we have in this case uh, that we are given uh, the temperature T degree Celsius at uh, a height. So we are given at a particular height of H meters above sea level is given by the formula. So this is the formula that is representing uh, the temperature at a height of h meters take note our height in meters our temperature in degree Celsius. so we are given that t is equal to 20 minus uh, h over 150 the first part of our question was to calculate the temperature at 4500 meters so what are we given that is measured in meters we are given the height in this case h in meters so that is we have got the value of h and we are supposed to calculate t in this case all right so that was our question so meaning to say we are simply going to substitute into the formula 20 minus the value of H is the one that we are given 4,500. So we are going to have 4,500 over 150. All right, so this was paper one, meaning to say no calculators. We are supposed to simplify each and every part. So we are going to have 20 minus, uh, this was going to give us what here? Uh, 15 into 45 that is going to be what three into zero here, that is going to be a zero there. So we've got uh, 20 minus 30, which is going to give us uh, what negative 10. So that was the value of T, but remember that T is representing temperature, which is T in degree Celsius. So meaning to say this value of minus 10 is supposed to be measured in what? In degree Celsius. All right, so that was the idea of our question. Let's move on to the B part. Make H the subject of the formula in this case. All right, so we're given to make H the subject of the formula, given that uh, from our H, we are given that uh, T is equivalent to, so we are given that T is equivalent to 20 minus H over 150. So we want to make H the subject. What is it that is affecting H in this case? H is uh, being affected by the 150, this part. But uh, this part that we see the 20 is not even uh, part of the H. So you can transpose, meaning to say we can even avoid to, or to work with this H being a negative, because we can see that we are having a negative there. So we can even avoid this. To have a negative, we can simply transpose this to the left-hand side. So that means we are going to have H over 150 towards a negative. Therefore, it, it is going to be a positive T. We can transpose T to the right hand side so that means we are going to have 20 minus t in this case all this part we are supposed to make h the subject and we can see that on h that the part that is affecting h direct now is the fraction that is the over 150 so what can we do in this case we can simply clear our fractions by cross multiplying since this is same as over one so one times h we are going to obtain h which is equal to 150 times the whole of this part, which is 150 into 20 minus T. All right, so that is uh, the idea of our question. So this is going to be the expression uh, or the formula for H in terms of T, whereby H is the height in meters, all right? Then the C part is to find the height at which the temperature is, uh, with, at which the temperature is 12 degrees Celsius in this case. So we are given the temperature and we are asked to find H. So it's either you're going to substitute from the first formula that you're given, or you can substitute already on the, in this formula, because already you have met H, the subject of the formula. So you can simply substitute the value of T. Uh, that is going to be, uh, in this case, H is going to be 150 uh, into 20 minus T. The temperature there we are given that the temperature is 12. So we have got the value of T in degree Celsius, all right? So this one is going to give us a H, which is 150 multiplied to 20 minus 12, which is eight. So if you multiply this part, you are supposed to obtain something like uh, 1,200 in this case, H representing the height, which is uh, measured in meters, as we are told here that our height is measured in what? In meters. So these are the typical questions that you might be given under exam. All you need is to revise and work with these typical questions uh, before the exam. So join the WhatsApp group so that you'll be able to send uh, ask the questions so that we can be uh, we can work with your questions. So make sure that you join the WhatsApp group, send the questions, then we revise the questions together on this platform. But for now, guys, that's it from Amazon African Motives. Till we meet again.